three minutes just to encourage you. So I'm looking at Luke chapter 7 today, and there's this amazing account of Jesus and a Roman centurion. The Roman centurion's servant is sick and death is looming, and he's concerned for him. This uh, particular centurion was not like most. He actually cared for the Jewish people. It even uh, built them a synagogue. So when he heard about Jesus, he inquired among the Jews about him, and their leaders sent a delegation to Jesus to plead earnestly with him that he might perform the necessary miracle. And they added, he is worthy to have you do this for him. And so Jesus sets out to see about the need. And as he's going along, he's intercepted by the centurion's own envoys sent to say, I am not worthy to have you come into my house. <laughs> Seems like the centurion Gentile understands more about Jesus than the Jewish religious leaders do. And then he explains, listen, I too am a man under authority and I have soldiers under me. I get how this works. You are sent from God. You operate under his authority. You speak on behalf of God and things happen. I get it. I say to one, go, and he goes. I say to one, come, and he comes. I say to one, do this, and he does it. So just say the word, and my servant will be healed. Hmm. Amazing. And when Jesus heard these things, it says he marveled at him, and he turned to the crowd, and he said, not even in Israel. Have I found such great faith? So Jesus and the de delegation from the centurion both turn on their heels and they go their separate ways. And when the delegation from the centurion get home, they find the servant well. Just say the word. That's faith. You, Jesus, and his word. That's all it takes. Just Jesus speaking the word and earthly realities can change. Before he went back to heaven, Jesus said, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. You might be thinking to yourself, well, why then doesn't he change the circumstances I find myself in? Why doesn't he just speak the word? Well, consider this. What if he already has? You see, the entire Bible was written before you and I even existed. But he insists that every word is still true and spoken to us. What if faith is not waiting for a word to be spoken, but realizing it already has been, and then acting upon it? Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, you possess all authority in heaven and earth. Your will and your word rule. Open our eyes to the word of promise you have already spoken and give us the faith to act upon it. Amen.